five, six, ready to go. And a one. Dance is just a passion that I knew I had to pursue. And I did not want to live the rest of my life wondering what if, you know, and I know that's a question that could plague us all, especially as we get older. So I would have rather tried and failed than to not try at all. Dance found me later in life and I was just bit by the dance bug and it was just a passion that I had to pursue because I couldn't live my life wondering what if, so I just had to do it. He works all night long and comes to dance all day long. That's the kind of dedication that he has. But a typical day, say today, I would wake up around 6 in the morning. I come to class starting 7.30, warm up. I have three classes. Today I did modern, then jazz, then modern again. Class finishes around 1 o'clock. I go home, take a nap. Uh, I wake up around 5, 5.30, get ready for work, and I head off to work. Get there about 6, 6.30 and I do my shift 12, 13 hours that normally is around and then I come home and I go to sleep. The movement is difficult, very, very difficult, especially choreography from the choreographer John Lair. It's extremely difficult. There's nothing easy about his choreography, but it makes you feel alive when you dance, you know? When I watch Matthew dance, I think of, uh, I think I'm gonna cry the sacrifices he's made to be there. And I think of what a loving kid he is and how much he really does care for everyone. And yet, that he can look at you from the stage and just sear you down to the bone. I mean, his intensity, that he can just bring it. I woke up this morning very tired, not wanting to come necessarily, but once I came here, started moving, started dancing, started taking the technique classes, I just came alive, you know? It just feels like you're in the right spot at the right time.